Hi guys, Dr. J here. And in this video, we're going to look at using Whitebox tools to create a very simple or go through a very simple process to create a bare earth digital elevation model or DEM. So the first thing that we're going to need is our LiDAR point cloud. And we'll go to our LiDAR tools here in Whitebox. We'll go to, there's several different algorithms that you can use to do a DEM analysis. Um, we're going to use this one of the simplest ones, which is a nearest neighbor gridding. So that's here. We'll uh, grid LiDAR files using nearest neighbor scheme. This is the white box tools tool that we're going to use. So we'll come over here. We'll select our file, our um, points clean file that we've been working with. We'll create an output file, and this will be our raster file. So we'll call it our cleaned DEM example. We'll be interpolating elevations. And so we're doing a bare earth DEM. We don't want the tops of trees. We don't want the tops of uh, buildings if possible. So we're going to use the last return. Point returns to include is the last. So remember we talked about LiDAR having these multiple returns. The first return might be the top of a tree and the second return might be the ground surface. So we'll take the very last return, which would be the ground surface for each LiDAR uh, pulse. We'll go ahead and run this. Okay, we're all done. And let's go ahead and look at this. I've got the file pulled up in QGIS, so let's look at that next. Okay, so here we are in QGIS, and I've got several layers here already, um, all ready to go. Here's our area, and this is near, um, this is in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Whoops. Um, so we've got our area here. We're gonna go ahead and zoom to layer, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this DEM. So what the white box tools has done is taken our 3D point cloud, and it's converted that to a digital elevation model where it's taken a, a one meter grid cell and calculated the elevation in each cell based on the points, the elevation of the LiDAR points that are located inside of that grid cell. So this is a one way to get a DEM, digital elevation model. Now this DEM is based on the last return, so it should be a bare earth LiDAR, but in some cases there might be places where we're getting buildings, there might be places where we're getting trees that are very thick, and so we don't actually get a last return, which is the ground. Uh, in particular, buildings are going to be, uh, you won't get a last return from the ground if your LiDAR is hitting a building, it'll just be the building. So what we can do is we can actually do some post-processing using Whitebox tools. And I'm gonna go back over to Whitebox uh, Geo and show you which tool that is. All right, so here we are back in Whitebox tools. I'm gonna go to the geomorphometric analysis and I'm gonna scroll down and find remove off-terrain objects. So this is an automa automated algorithm which is going to scan through your DEM. It's going to look for points that are changing very rapidly in, in, in essence in elevation uh, where you go from a jump from let's say one meter height to five meters height right away and it's going to remove those and so this is basically going to act as a filter which allows you to remove buildings and, and extraneous trees things like that from your DEM and uh, it will calculate a new DEM which will be a better approximation of a bare earth DEM. So we can go ahead we can select our DEM file which was our DEM example and we're gonna use DEM example cleaned as our output file. And we'll go ahead and replace that. I'm gonna leave the parameters the same. You can obviously play with these parameters depending on what your uh, LiDAR data set is like. And I'll go ahead and run this tool. All right, so our tools finished processing. And let's go over to QGIS and look at the file that we've made. All right, so here we are back in QGIS. We, we have the original DEM that I showed. Um, and then I'm going to pull up this cleaned example DEM. So I'll go back and forth between the two. And you can see here, we've got the DEM example cleaned. That's much smoother, you see. You very clearly see the river now. And if I toggle that on and off, you can see how it's basically been able to remove the buildings and small vegetation and things that were there before that were sort of keeping us from being able to see the bare earth elevations. Uh, notice that both of these uh, DEMs are on the same scale. So if I look at the DEM example, that's 0.45 to 25. Same thing for the cleaned example. All right, so there you have it, a way to get a bare earth LiDAR based DEM using white box tools and QGIS, two completely free and open source pieces of software. Uh, so I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.